when we first started with the design of the 420 Outrage, we really wanted to start with a complete clean slate. We went out, we talked with a lot of customers, got their input on uh, their current boats, where they see they would be going next. And then we brought all that back and really started developing some insights around that. And it came down to this class leading interior. We did a bunch of mock-ups of different interiors. Ultimately, the full beam interior that we developed at the end here uh, won out. And it was really because of the effect that it had when you walked downstairs. It was just something that you didn't see on center console fishing boats. So the second area that we wanted to focus on were the comfort and entertainment aspects of the boat. So we developed features in the bow with flip-up backrests, the lounge, as well as some of the helm deck features where we incorporated a second row seat that allows three more people to face forward while you're running the boat. And then we designed in helm seats on the outboard side that rotate 180 degrees so that you can watch your lines while you're fishing underneath the hardtop as well as watch people at the dock or socialize in your boat. We really didn't want to lose the heritage of our brand, so we maintained this 360 degree walk around that is a classic design for a center console fishing boat. Nice open cockpit, still all the fishing amenities that you would expect from a Boston whaler. We integrated a special integrated trim tab system that has triangular trim tabs to make the boat get on plane very easily. Uh, from a second row seating, that was a big feature that, the, that was designed into it so that it wouldn't compromise uh, cockpit space and yet you still get a second row seat. Uh, all the way to the digital switching system. So we have a complete networked vessel that you can remotely control through cellular and satellite, do all kinds of features for your boat, monitor your boat, it lets you know if somebody's unplugged your shore power and if your batteries are going dead. So there's a number of elements that we took it to the next level in engineering and technology to really build a boat that was gonna be easy for the consumer to have a large boat like this that normally would be very complicated, make it very simple. And six months prior to the creation or the beginning of the design process, we started focusing in on the engineering of the tooling, the actual molds we build to produce a 42. So we went into a project where we engineered the tooling as a scaled up version of the 37 to see what we could do with the 42 mold set to not have it weigh any more than the 37. And at the end of the day, when we went through the engineering and we actually built the tooling, We've got a mold set for the 42 that weighs just as much as a 37 Outrage at 60,000 pounds. It's a totally infused mold set. Um, our traditional molds are steel bulkheads. You've seen that if you've uh, uh, seen some of the molds that Whaler uses. On the 42 Outrage, those bulkheads were two inch thick infused uh, cord panels. So long before uh, Charlie and the design team started working on the vision of the boat, business had a lot of other work to do leading up to the production of the boat some two years later. So all in all the layout that we created was really something that was truly innovative in the marketplace. Everything from the full beam interior, the steps in the cockpit, there were a lot of risks that were associated with the development of this boat that we overcame to really develop uh, a class leading boat in the market today while maintaining all the heritage elements of Boston Whaler, all the things that make Boston Whaler a Boston Whaler, such as the quality, the ride, the fit and finish, uh, and the, ultimately the fishability of the boat as well.